Hey guys, I just hit the record button on this video because I wanted to talk about something and I'm literally doing something right now which is really relevant to what I want to talk about. So a lot of people have been talking about the death of SAS recently and I think this is a super, super interesting topic. Now, I don't know how many of you know Notion, for example. Notion, it's kind of like Google Sheets, Google Docs, sorry, Google Docs, but more geared towards like project planning, project management, that kind of thing. Now, I actually use Notion, so if I just log in here, continue with Google, you'll see, I'm not lying to you guys, there is some, unless they've deleted it, there should be some Notion stuff right here. So, Incrum Stream Surface HQ, pretty sure I made some projects. Okay, yeah, no, they're here, so on these docs right here. So, this was a pretty cool system at the time, but then it hit me with this message. You used all, your, all of this workspace's free blocks, upgrade plan, right? And in order to upgrade the plan, there are three people on this thing, right? So we would have had to have paid $9.50 per member per month, or $11.50 if we pay monthly instead of annually, right? It's almost 40 euros a month just to organize my videos, right? So that we know what was coming out, we know what we've made, etc., etc. Now, let me just show you something, guys. In literally... So let's just see if there was a cost here. There was no cost. In literally five minutes and with two or three prompts, I built something that replaced Notion for my specific use case, right? My use case, as you can see, if I click on here, or let's just click on, I don't know, one of these, right? So there's thumbnails, description, you know, all that good stuff, right? So if I go on my version of this, now it doesn't look very good, obviously. Um, but like, it's just for me. I'm not selling this as a SaaS, right? So it's literally just for me. So, and I just want to, I just want to really, really hit home, like how easy this was. Look, this was my prompt. Okay. And then it literally just did it once, twice. And I just said, change this, change this, add a download button. Now watch this, select video folder right? Upload, upload, bang. This video is now here, right? Okay. So I need some kind of permanence as well. So like, let's just pretend I don't know anything about databases and things. I'll just say, I need some kind of easy permanence when I upload a file. So it stays here. How can I do this in the easiest way possible? Okay. So now if I refresh this, there is some kind of permanence. Let's actually stop. I guess it's the same thing. Let's just stop this and then start it again. And let's see if it's saved. There we go. So now I have my own personal storage place for my YouTube videos. I don't need Notion. I don't need to pay for a SaaS. I don't need anything, right? Now, obviously this isn't in the cloud and my needs have changed slightly. I don't need to share this with anyone etc. But to be honest with you, I never really needed to share it with anyone anyway. I just added them on there. So this is actually much more handy as well than my previous uh, setup, right? So if I just show you how this works, all it is, is there's a folder here, video brainstorm organizer, right? And all I do is add a folder. And um, this time, let's say hi.txt here, right? I oh, know this should be description.txt maybe. Actually, never mind. If I write hi here, right, this is a description for a YouTube video, right? And then let's select file folder and then upload this, upload this. Now you can see how this actually works, right? And then when it comes time to down to upload this video, I can press download assets here. And then I have all of my assets here, show in folder, unzip this. Bang. I have all of my assets ready to go. Like how, how cool is that? I can just grab the description like that. This is actually better than Notion. So yeah, I think this is really, really interesting. This whole like, is SaaS gonna, gonna go? Because people can just make their own things much, much more easily than they could before. Now that the, the level of intelligence with Sonnet 3.7, and you might've noticed I actually used Gemini 2.5 Pro. I actually use Gemini 2.5 Pro more than I use Sonnet 3.7 now. The level of intelligence has got so high now that you can literally just give like a four line prompt and get whatever you want out of it. 
And I also think another really interesting thing is people try and overcomplicate this. If you just make something that's HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and potentially PHP if needed, but probably not even needed. Um, and then like you could probably use SQL as a database. You could literally build whatever the hell you want to. You, you like if you just plan on using it yourself, you don't need to pay a company anymore. If I wanted to make my own CRM, I know for a fact that I could make my own CRM. The only problem with making like a CRM or, you know, like a, a SaaS as well, the main problem is all of the third party APIs like Stripe, Superbase, like this stuff is a fucking nightmare, like resend, sending emails, SMTP. Just to, to launch a SaaS, you need to learn all of these three things, right? But to launch one of these where it's your own personal SaaS on your computer that has a very specific use case for you, you don't need any of this complicated shit. You literally just need a five line prompt explaining what you're trying to achieve and then just build it in HTML, CSS, JavaScript and potentially SQL if you need some kind of database. SQL is not that complicated. All you do is launch an SQL server locally on your computer and then you have a database. So yeah, I'm going to leave the video there, guys. I really wanted to just quickly talk about this because I think this is super, super interesting. And um, I just wanted to show how easy it is to make something that actually saves you 40 euros a month, right? That's effectively what this is doing. This is saving me 40 euros a month. And it cost me nothing to make because I use Gemini 2.5, the, the free version. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very soon with some more content. Peace out.